Hey folks, it's Andrew from Gamba Red, and today we're going to take a look at the Gamba Red Rex and uh, introduce it and compare it to the Gamba Red Groove, which is our long-standing product. Uh, so the Gamba Red Rex kind of came, came out more recently. It's got an upgraded kind of uh, silvery shell to it, uh, so it improves the reflectance of the light um, to be a little bit more efficient with the light. Um, and we use four wavelengths of red and near-infrared as opposed to our Groove model only uses three wavelengths. So this is the Groove. This is kind of our first product. You can find some reviews on it online. You know, it's, it's uh, been very popular for the affordability, the price, lightweight, uh, you know, easy to move around, easy to maneuver. Um, so, you know, this has been around for, for a little while. It's got more of a professional and beautiful looking white case as opposed to the uh, silvery looking case of the Rex. So you can kind of see just aesthetically they're, they're a little bit different, but overall the size is the same. You know, you can stack them up. They're pretty much the same size. Uh, both thin, both lightweight, easy to travel, easy to move around. Uh, so we already did kind of a um, an introduction for the groove and how to use it and different positions you can use it and how to use it most efficiently and effectively. Uh, so you can go back and uh, rewatch that video. You can watch it uh, for the groove, and every you know all those same techniques that we use for the groove also apply to the Rex. So that's that's handy. So they're both pretty interchangeable in, in terms of like how you use them, how you carry them around, the size and the form factor. Um, so that's that's nice. It keeps it kind of straightforward and easy. And then, uh, like we said, the big thing is you can get a little bit more intensity out of the Rex and we have more infrared. So we can take a look right now of both panels. You can see the Rex is more based in the dark infrared wavelengths. So the infrared are the bulbs that look dark. They look like nothing's happening, but actually there's infrared. And the groove on this side, this one's got more red, obviously. So this one's only got three wavelengths and it's more focused on the red. So that's, that's kind of the big picture is, you know, with the Rex we use 630 nanometer, that's the more kind of orangey, orangey looking one. We use 660 nanometer, which is the deeper red, and then we use two infrared, which you can't see, one is 850 and one is 830. So um, if you're trying to decide between kind of what's the application, well, Generally, near infrared can penetrate a little bit deeper in, you know, through the skin and, and be a little bit more effective for deeper tissue kind of applications. Uh, whereas, if you have a product that's more based in red, then typically it's a little bit more superficial focus. But like I said, they both have a balance of red, deep red, and infrared. So they both are are very versatile, very very you know useful for almost all applications. The groove is going to be cheaper because it uses less infrared, and infrared's more expensive to source and produce. And uh, the 830 nanometer, um, in particular, is a little bit more expensive for me to get. So we get get that for the Rex and make it a little bit more of a premium item. Whereas the groove's affordable, effective, versatile, so uh, that's always kind of the go-to. Um, we can do a couple quick measurements, like I said, with the Rex, you get a little bit more intensity because of the reflectance of the light. And, you know, something that you can't really measure is that when you're using it up close, like, like you do, and like I show in my other videos, when you use it up close, light's reflecting off your face, back to the panel, back to you. So, like, it's more efficient. So a lot of panels on the market, they say, oh, you know, you gotta use it at least six inches away or so. Well, a lot of light gets lost wasted out to the sides of you and completely misses you. A lot of light bounces off of you, so that way if you use an effective and efficient light, you can kind of, you know, you save on energy, you save on uh, kind of wasted space, and you know, you don't get this big heavy thing. You get a nice lightweight, um, useful and practical light. Uh, that's, that's what I go for. Um, anyway, so we're going to stand this up, if it stands. Maybe it doesn't want to stand today. Hmm. Alright, 
So we're going to stand this up, and uh, we'll do a quick intensity measurement. So uh, this is the Tenmars TM206 that, uh, like I like I kind of say, it's not a great um, tool for an accurate measurement, but it gives you kind of a good you know, a quick kind of basis for comparison. So I use this around the house, but it's certainly not a professional grade. I wouldn't, wouldn't trust the accuracy of it. It's just to give you guys a quick comparison. And uh, we're going to prop it up maybe an inch away. I'll even use a ruler to help me set it up. So just prop it up, aim it. And, you know, it really depends. Not even, this one's not even cosine corrected, so it depends on how you position it and, and everything. So oh, it's very finicky. So now we have it set up. Maybe you can see it on the camera. Who knows? So you can see it's reading 122 watts per meter squared. So 122 watts per meter squared that's kind of equivalent to, maybe you can see it better now. Now it's saying 116 because we're off to the side. But 116, you can convert to that to milliwatts per centimeter squared by a factor of 10. So it's 11.6 milliwatts per centimeter squared. And this is maybe, you know, one and a half inches. Um, so you can see we get that. So we're, we're at 11.6 with this guy, and then we'll try to set up the Gemba Red Groove in a similar way and see what that says. So I'll come around and take a look. Yep, so if you zoom in, uh, you'll see it's 9.8. So before we were reading 11.6, now now we're reading 9.8. So you do lose, you know, one, one point. So with the Rex, you know, you do gain that one mill, you know, potentially one milliwatt uh, per centimeter squared intensity if you, if you go with the Rex. But like I said, it's hard to measure that increase in reflectance and when it's bouncing off your skin, that kind of efficiency and recycling kind of the light. Um, so it's hard to measure that. Uh, the other cool thing I have, we can check it out, is kind of my EMF meter for home use, the Gigahertz uh, ME3030B. And this does electric fields and this does magnetic fields. Uh, so we can set this up to read electric field. And again, I'll just prop it up here, uh, about, you know, less than an inch away, and we'll take a look. So you can see it's reading 63 volts per meter. So that's 63 volts per meter. Um, You know, so 63 volts per meter, and this is uh, measuring the groove. So we're measuring the groove, we get 63 um, just with a small gap. So that's pretty good. And then we'll bring up this guy and see if it stands. And so now we're looking at the Rex. So we're looking at the Rex, the volts per meter on this guy. And uh, it goes up to about 99, 100, uh, 97 uh, volts per meter. So it's a little bit, it's shown a little bit higher than the groove. Um, they both use kind of the same EMF mitigation technology. So it's maybe just a little bit more static electricity, you know, kind of static that you get from having the more reflective casing. Um, so. It's really not, not a big significant difference to me, but uh, for some of you it might be, and uh, you know, we get professional measurements too. This is more of a, what I use for home. Um, the other thing also is uh, we can check the magnetic field real quick. They're both really low for magnetic field, practically none. Um, 
So we, I just switched it to magnetic field. So the magnetic field, yeah, we're down. We're down to um, 11 nanotesla, which is equivalent to 0.1 microtesla. So, so according to this, yeah, only 0.11 microtesla for the magnetic field. So you want to check both, usually with uh, your devices. This one's not super accurate for microtesla, uh, for, for milligauss. Um, so, it's just to give you kind of a quick look. They both read about the same micro Tesla, so no, no big difference in that. Okay, so that's that's a quick overview between these two lights. Uh, again, you get a little bit more bang for your buck with the. Uh, Gamba Red Rex because you get an extra wavelength, you get a little bit more reflectance, a little bit more intensity out of it. Um, seems like maybe the electric field's a little bit higher because of uh, maybe, you know, you get a little bit more static uh, off of it. And then we have the groove, which is, again, more of our go-to uh, great balance of wavelengths, uh, more affordable, and, uh, you know, both are very versatile, both are, are used for all kinds of applications, so um, can't go wrong with either, and uh, this kind of helps you kind of sort through what, what to choose and what uh, to go for for your specific purpose, purposes, so thank you.